Hi everybody. This isn't going to be a normal floss tube video. Um, I am sick again. I literally just had an allergic reaction. Was it last week? I don't even know. My days are blurred. I miss you all so very much. I am still here. Um, I wanted to share my elk finish um, because I did finish that. It's at the framers for my husband and a few other things. So this is just going to be a mishmash floss tube of various videos that I have recorded um, <coughs> and that I've recorded to share with y'all. Um, it will have my new releases in it as well as trunk show information for Stitch Con. I would love to get back to regular video soon I my health is just I can barely walk it like it's crazy um what I'm going through right now um but I want you to know that I miss you sorry for the printer in the background I'm I'm printing charts to send off to the distributor um but I hope that you enjoy just these various video clips it may not make sense but it's the best that I could do right now I love and miss you all Enjoy. So while I've been away, I've actually been working on moving all of my stuff from the downstairs family room upstairs into my daughter's former bedroom since she moved out. It is a slow going process because I have been sick and I have been having some like muscle aches and joint pain and going up and down the stairs is just not fun. So here is what I have so far. Um, it's kind of an eclectic room, but it's all me. These are what my older daughter had stitched me for Mother's Day. I prop my printers upstairs. All of my fabric is going to be in the drawers. I still have some to move upstairs, some of my needle minders. And then I have a whole wall of antique samplers as well as um, the two uh, quilt ladders that you see. That quilt was made by Colleen of Stitching with the Sister Lees, and I love it. That Bigfoot Squishmallow was from my niece. I'm sorry, I am sick, so I probably don't sound the greatest, but I wanted to do a voiceover on this. This is where I store all of my DMC in floss away bags. I have the full set, um, so I put them in here. And then down below will be the Cosmo floss, and I have some color cubes and I still have a lot of sorting to do as well. And then this is my other quilt ladder that has some antique samplers on it. I fell down the rabbit hole and I just can't stop buying them. Um, those two I'm actually charting that are on the desk. This is my special area. I'm still moving stuff up from downstairs, but these are gifts um, for my daughter, for my friends, things that have special meaning to me. That basket that you see is where my grand kitty chills when I'm in the craft room. He likes to look out the window. Um, the art that's up on the wall, both of my daughters have painted throughout the years or drew me pictures. There's a bit of storage. The closet's still a work in progress, but you can see my whips and my empty project bags. And then this is all of my floss. Uh, Be Stitch Me Silks, Classic Color Works, Gentle Arts, Weak Sty Works. Um, they are all here and um, you see my floss bling. I'm obsessed with those from As The Old Flies and the sign my daughter made. The flag has been calling to me and I posted her on Instagram after completing the flag and someone said she needed to give me strength after my recent battle and I sure believe that was right. Okay, I have a couple finishes. The first one, I guess it's a, a harder chart to find. I, I don't know. I got this a while ago off a of stash unloading. Mine is all beat up and bent and, and everything, but it's the Samsara red, white, and blue. Um, a lot of people saying that they're having a problem finding this. I don't know if it's out of print or not, um, but this is, it's beautiful. And I started this a long time ago and then I, I fell out of love with it. And then I was like, I wanna get through my whips. And I fell back in love with it. This is on 18 count Bianchetto from Fabric Flare. And here's my finish. Look at it, so pretty. So pretty. I really want this to be a drum, but I don't know if I could finish it into a nice drum. I may have to find somebody that would be willing to finish it for me. I mean, 
to see if there's a finisher available. Look at that, it's so pretty. It really is pretty. So I finished that. And then the other one that I finished that I'm gonna take to get framed uh, today, actually, while I'm after I'm done recording, is I've stitched this twice. I just finished the second version. The first version I gave to my older daughter. This one goes to my younger daughter. She is graduating high school. Um, and so I can't remember what this is on. It's on Be Stitch Me 18 count. I think it's like Sandstorm or something. Um, but there it is finished. And then her initials are in there. And so I'm gonna go get this framed and ready for part of her graduation gift. I used all the called for colors. It's absolutely beautiful. It goes with her room decor. So hopefully she loves it. Okay, everybody. Um, I am excited to share that I have fully finished stitching the Elk Anthem piece for my husband. Two months early, y'all, two months early. Um, excuse my face. This is the end of an allergic reaction I had, which I, but I wanted to record this because I'm going to get it framed. I'm struggling to either wait to give it to him um, when we're away at the cabin for our 25th wedding anniversary or just give it to him early because he's been wanting this so badly and he knows it's finished and I think it would be mean to keep it until our anniversary. And I mean, he knows it's an anniversary gift anyways. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I think he just deserves it because he's amazing. Are you ready? Because I am so, so excited. Oh my gosh, I hope that you can get the full, I don't even know if the full thing is in here. Let's see, there we go. There it is. We're gonna go take it to Hobby Lobby because there's an amazing framer. And um, she is going to work her magic. This is 18 count oatmeal Ada that I got from Michaels because it was just, I just needed a large piece and it's all DMC and I used one strand. It is, oh my gosh, it's stunning. Ah, I'm so excited to gift it to him. I think the finished measurement is like 20 inches by almost 13 on 18 count. So it's a, it's a pretty large piece. And somebody, if you follow me on social media, you've already seen it because I had to share it. Um, ooh, inhaled the, the string. Um, somebody asked me what my next full coverage piece is going to be. And I'm torn between the Bigfoot that Heaven and Earth uh, charted. It's a really colorful one. And I ordered some evergreen fabric um, from Stitchery Express that's from Fabric Flare that I may use for it. And then I'm also thinking about starting Deer Creek from Heaven and Earth Designs over for my husband. Um, or they have one that's called Fur Feathers and something. Flowers, Fur and Feathers that they just released that I absolutely love. So I'm torn between three. I may just do the Bigfoot so I could have it for me here in my craft room, um, but we'll see. So I hope you enjoyed it. Next time you see it, it's gonna be framed. So excited. And this is actually a, a special edition because I am going to share with you my new releases, which I'm excited about for summer. I have six. And I'm also gonna share with you the trunk show that will be available at StitchCon Weekend A and B, which I'm very excited for and nervous. Um, I will be at Weekend A. Um, so I'm very excited for that. I have been MIA for a little while. I hope to get back to regular floss tubes. Uh, you, you can hear I'm out of breath just from, you know, walking. It's, it's crazy. And I've been dealing with, um, some random health, uh, allergic reaction thing that I had to what I think is ibuprofen that just happened, uh, not too long ago. You can see I'm still recovering a bit. So, Anyways, I will be back. I miss you all. Thank you for sticking with me. And I hope that you like my new releases. When you're seeing this, um, the shop should have already been emailed and um, I'll be sending charts to Hoffman and to Yarn Tree as well. And um, PDFs won't be for a little bit because I like to give the shops 
Um, now, because I'm a little bit more established, I want to give them some time with the physical charts before I do PDFs. So i um, not sure on when the PDFs will be, but I'll let y'all know. Okay, so new releases. I have one reproduction sampler and then the rest are originals. I wanted to show you the antique sampler first. This is Rhoda Jane Carlton. A nice, small sized, cute little sampler. Um, you can see the back is very vibrant. Very, very pretty. Um, we matched uh, from the front. I liked the faded colors on that. And so this is the reproduction. And here's my chart. Thank you to Belinda, I don't know how to say her last name, Carpenter, Sharpenter. I'm not sure, I probably butchered that. But Belinda model stitched this for me. Um, a couple of things to note um, on the model stitch that I think were um, kind of, I guess, confusing on the chart. But the whole border and then this green border here, they are half, they're supposed to be half stitches. See how that green border is? Not full crosses. Um, the model stitcher Belinda, she did full crosses. They are charted for half stitches, but just when you're looking at the picture, um, these are supposed to be, they're charted as half stitches and the same with the border. You can obviously make them full stitches because it looks super cute either way um, on this. This is all DMC. Um, so very, very easy to get the floss. I finished it into a little pin pillow just because I thought it was such a cute size. And um, usually I like to frame my reproductions, but I thought this was kind of a cute size. This is stitched on 20 count hot cocoa from Be Stitch Me using one strand of the called 4 DMC. And there is some research on Rhoda that was generously done by Kathy Butler. And um, the cool thing is, I'll kind of read a little bit about, um, we think that the number 17 that you can see um, on here in the pink, we think that might have been her age. We're not 100%. We think um, that that Kathy had found her, but if that is the case, um, Rhoda Jane Carlton was born to Samuel and Sally on January 11th, 1878. My birthday's January 4th, so it's kind of cool, so close in Freestone, Lincolnshire, England. She married James Greetrix in April 1900 in Boston, Lincolnshire, England. They had four children during their marriage, Herbert James, Alice Mary, Joseph Samuel, and George William. Rhoda's husband passed away on February 4th, 1950 at the age of 74. They had been married 49 years. How cool is that? She passed away on February 5th, 1964, in Boston, Lincolnshire, England at the age of 86. So just a little bit of, of information. This is the chart. Um, this is the back. All of my charts are in color. They're big squares, so, cause I like big squares. Um, so that way, oops, I don't even know where to put stuff. Y'all can see them. The next one, Y'all loved my Bigfoot in spring. I thank you so much for the love and the support of that. That's, I st It still blows my mind how many people actually love Bigfoot uh, besides me. So my next one is Bigfoot in summer. Super, super cute. Uh, flamingo. This is um, kind of a tribute to my friend Alicia, the fanciful flamingo, because I love her to death and she's so sweet. And I thought flamingos scream summer. So um, here is Bigfoot. He's carrying a strawberry. There are some ants trying to nibble at his strawberry. He's got a patriotic, um, why can't I think of it? Um, icy pop, <laughs> popsicle um, that he's going to share with the flamingo. This is to look like the Washington State bird where I live. Um, and then, of course, the picnic table. And so this is still 70 by 70, which are all of my Bigfoot designs. Love him. Love him. Um, I modeled Stitch this one. The fabric is 18 count Joy to the World by Grace Notes Fabrics. And I used classic color works for um, all of the 
pretty colors. And I actually used the new releases in this one. So I didn't offer a DMC conversion because it was really tricky. I, I tried and tried. Um, so, I mean, for something like this, you can pick whatever colors you'd like, but I did not offer a DMC conversion on this one. Um, but this is Bigfoot in Summer. So there's my chart. And the back. It's nice and big there. So you can see it. So there's that one. Oh, I want to say Rhoda Jane Carlton is going to be in the trunk show at StitchCon. Um, so she will be available at StitchCon. The next one I really like. It's my favorite little tiny small. I love it. I called this I'd Pick You. And it's a small. I filled it with lizard litter. Um, but it's just a cute little small with some strawberries, some pretty flowers, some bees, and I'd pick you a little saying. Uh, my daughter thinks that I should also make a like a blueberry and a lemon and all that kind of stuff. So I may do that down the line if I can find a cute little phrase. But I thought this turned out great. And I love the strawberry on the back. So there's this one. This was model stitched by me as well. Uh, this is on 18 Count Sarah by Grace Notes Fabrics. Um, this was also stitched with Classic Color Works. And this I did provide a DMC conversion. It's really, really tough to do DMC conversions on some things. So um, that's always fun. And so that's this. Here is the chart. And the back. I forgot to mention on the I'd Pick You that these three stitches right here, I forgot to chart and I printed all of the charts and then caught it. So just a heads up that these three stitches on the large strawberry are not charted on all of the charts that I printed and my daughter bagged, but future charts will be fixed. Just wanted to make that note. So I like this. It's so cute. This will be at the trunk show for StitchCon as well. Um, so you can see it. Uh, the next one that will be at the trunk show for StitchCon is the next of my word series. You can see my 2023 words of the year. Uh, that one is just PDF only. But this one is going to be in paper form. This is Words to Live by the Patriotic Edition. I absolutely love it. I was inspired to finish on books uh, by Teresa Kogut. And um, so I just found this random book at, at Goodwill. It's not an antique or anything, but here it is. I model stitched this one as well. Um, this is on 18 count old stationery by Seraphim Fabrics. And I used classic color works for this as well. Um, a lot of them are similar colors with classic color works for the ones I released. Um, and then this one is 65 by 101. So this is five by, or four by six on 18 count. Um, so it's kind of a nice, nice size, but it's a lot of the patriotic words and then just some motifs. You can see my eagle from my beach pattern there. So I love it. I hope you like it as well. Here's the chart. And the colors in the back. So that'll be at the trunk show for StitchCon. Um, the next one is one that was model stitched by Colleen Holt of St Stitching with the Sister Lees. I designed this a long, long time ago um, and I had started model stitching it and then I was like, uh, I don't want to do this. I And I fell out of love with it and Colleen was like, let me stitch it. And I love how uh, how it looks finished. So um, this is just finished in a, there's actually part of the hoop that's still in here. So it's finished on like the inside part of the hoop. Um, so it could just be propped up. But this is called Be the Sunshine. And it says, be someone sunshine when their skies are gray. And so I just loved this. Um, this is the, the chart cover. Um, like I said, it's, it was stitched by my amazing friend, Colleen. She's just awesome. She's great at model stitching and I love her to death. This is 121 by 125. Um, and this is using Be Stitch Me Silks. 
So the, the color in the middle is called All the Colors from Be Stitch Me. And the DMC conversion, I just said you choose. You choose whatever colors you want. Um, I just, I loved that. Just kind of like all of the colors mixed into one. And then Sugar Plum and Lemonade um, are the other two colors. Um, and this was stitched on 18 count gray magic by Be Stitch Me. So it's about seven by seven on 18 count. So thank you, Colleen, for model stitching this for me and for getting it done so I could release it. And that's the back. Again, it's just a, a hoop finished on the inside and I just took off the outside part of the hoop. And then my last release, and I have not fully finished this yet. I need to get on that hopefully today. I just have not had the energy. Um, then the next in my seasonal series on Autumn Hills Place, uh, my sister model stitched this for me and it's on 18 count rainy day by Be Stitch Me and it's using Cosmo Floss. This is a five by seven size on here and I love it. So this is the next in the series. So this is summer at Autumn Hills Place. And so with these, if with my spring and my summer and even my fall, I've pulled motifs from my antique samplers. So like this, this peacock, these flowers up here, and this uh, dog motif, those are from my personal antique samplers that I own um, that I have reproduced. And so I try to do that with all of them, pull some motifs from my antique samplers and put them into my seasonal. I'm working on the autumn one now and it's pretty cute. So there is that. So those are my summer releases. I hope that you all uh, like them and are excited to, to see them released. I wanted to also show you the other items that are gonna be at the trunk show for StitchCon. Um, the first one, I didn't pull up the charts cause these have been released, but I wanted to show you in case you wanted to know what's gonna be there. I am sending Charlotte Hatch. This spool is amazing, amazing. And it's from Pete's Biscuits. It's a custom spool called Becca's Spool. Um, and so this is Charlotte Hatch, super cute. So that will be available to see and purchase. Um, my Rote Bendel, my three red samplers will be available. I'm sending those. These two on the bottom are reproduction samplers. The top one is one that I designed um, in dedication to my older daughter. This is her Hebrew name. So this chart pack, they're all three together, will be available at StitchCon. I'm sending Lizzie Payne Gross. This was a model stitched by Laura of Brenda and the Serial Starter, Laura Duet. I am so honored and love this to death and I'm just so happy that she bottle stitched for me. So there, that will be available. That's been a pretty popular one. So I figured that would be there. Of course, I have to send my most popular reproduction. Um, this is Margarita Seekins. There's a sal going on for it right now. So the charts will be available and you can see the model um, there. So this was model stitched by Oliver Puckett and he did an amazing, amazing job. Um, and he was communicating with me the whole way. Like he'd send me a picture and ask if this is supposed to be like that. It was, it was just great. I'm hoping if he's watching this, he'll model stitch the one that I have that's similar to this, but smaller um, for release at market next year. Of course, I'm going to send my very first design and my favorites. Um, this is Adventure Sampler. So y'all can see that up close. It's just so, so pretty, so pretty. And I model stitched this. Well, I actually stitched it for my Bigfoot wall, but now it's a model um, until I can retire it and hang it up on my Bigfoot wall. So that will be available. My personal favorite reproduction that I've done, I'm sending. This is my Yeti sampler. Absolutely love this so much. It's a Yeti sampler because of this made me think of a Yeti. And there's the peacock that I pulled into the summer at Autumn Hills Place. So that will be available. 
Hopefully none of these fall. My beach sampler was very, very popular, so I'm going to send that. Love that. So that will be there. Oh, they're falling. My inspiration sampler. This is one of my favorites that I've designed. This is based on my family and I love just the different motifs. I love the, the black and white on the, the brown uh, coffee club fabric from Be Stitch Be. So I'm sending that. It didn't get as much love as I had hoped. So I'm hoping um, sending it with a trunk show because I think it's just, I love it so, so much. This represents me and my husband. I had a willow tree growing up um, at the house, cats and dogs. That's, we love this for my, that's for my younger daughter. My older daughter loves flowers. Um, this is, my grandma used to sing K Sara Sara to me, whatever it will be. This is for my husband's family because they're very religious and, and love church. And, you know, of course I had to put stitching because we love stitching and, outdoors for Pacific Northwest or anybody who loves outdoors. So I'm hoping that this gets a little bit more love. Oh, and this is, and it explains all the different motifs on the back. This is um, in representation of like my husband's grandpa and my aunt and uncle, they were farmers. So, so that will be available. And then the last one that I'm sending is another very popular one. This is my original design. Um, based on the help of my older daughter. This is the alphabet. And then this is a passage, um, my daughter's favorite passage from the Torah. And then it also explains the different motifs as well. They all have, have meanings. Um, but this one is Laheim, means to life sampler. So that will be available. So that is my trunk show. Um, so hopefully people are excited um, for that. And then one more thing that I want to show you. This might be a little bit of a spoiler alert. So Brandy at Be Stitch Me has asked me to, had asked me to design um, a chart for her in full bloom box, I believe it is. Um, and so if you've not received it and don't want to see it, then you can turn off this video now. But um, this will probably become available at market, I would think. Um, I'll keep it exclusive to Brandy's box for now but I designed this and Brandy actually model stitched it she custom dyed a fabric for the box and then I chose the color palette um, they're her silks and her fabrics on it um, but it says sprout love like a flower and even on the darkest days the sun will shine so that is the chart that I designed for her in full bloom box I'm so nervous because I hope that people are happy <laughs> with the chart um, since they purchased the box. So, but it's so pretty. She did such a good job model stitching it. And she sent it back and I finished it, printed it off, and got it back to her, hopefully, um, without too much delay and all that. So that is what I have been working on. Um, now I need to go pack up my trunk show and the charts and get them shipped off to keepsakes. Um, so that they can inventory and go through all that stuff in time. So I miss y'all. Um, I really do want to get back to recording floss tubes. I am currently moving all of my stitchy stuff from downstairs upstairs into this room. And that's taking a lot of time. I Because I can't go up and down the stairs that often. I have messed up my back. So I haven't been doing a ton of stitching. Um, so I still doing the interviews, um, the interview, the next one's going to go up on Mother's Day and, um, it is with Primrose Cottage and it is my three year anniversary and my 100th episode. So it was, it was an amazing one, emotional and amazing and incredible. So I hope you enjoy that and have a happy Mother's Day. Um, and if you're not a mom, then I just hope it brings you joy on that day. Um, because it brings some tissues. It was a good interview. So, okay. So the fabric portion, I'm going to record separately from my main video because I'm going to send some out for models. So the first one I want to show you is the fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me. This is 40 count ledger. That is so pretty. 
But then I also got a 20 count ledger. So side by side, those are pretty dang close. Look at that. Usually they die differently, but that's really pretty. I had to cut down on my fabric of the month. So I'll be, I think, getting less um, from Brandy. I think just the Ada. And then she sends me the Color Club, which is 18 count that she sends me. And this is Jellyfish Fields. This is actually really pretty. It's like an aquamarine or a teal with some yellowish green in it. It's really, really pretty. So those are my Bee Stitch Me's. There's a ton of fabric. Um, the next ones are Seraphim. I ordered some wholesale from Seraphim and I just had her pick uh, some for me. So this one is Antique Lace, 36 count. That's so pretty. The joys of recording outside. People speed down our neighborhood streets. It's ridiculous. It's been a while since I recorded outside. This one is 18 count bird's eye view. Look at that. That is so, so pretty. I'm looking forward to designing with a lot of these fabrics. Um, this one is 36 count prairie grass. That is a perfect neutral. I love that. I told her to pick some sampler colors um, and then an Ada for like a wintry type of piece. And I think she did a good job with that bird's eye view. Um, and then 36 count dusty road. Look how pretty that is. So that's my Seraphim haul. And then um, Corinne from Grace Notes Fabrics. I met her at um, Market. And she sent me two pieces that just arrived and the first one is marked Stacy 36 count oh yeah never mind I just <laughs> I just did a new release for summer you saw me looking at this all weird but I think the new release is on Sarah <laughs> for some reason I thought I put Stacy on the chart now I gotta double check oh my gosh and I already printed off the chart we shall see. Um, but look at the beautiful modeling on this. That is so, so pretty. So pretty. And then the other piece that she sent me to try, this is 36 count Bradley. It's like a goldish color. That's really, really pretty. So I'm looking forward to, I have released, I think for my summer releases, I had two um, pieces of Ada from Grace Nose Fabrics that she had sent me a while ago. And so I used those and I'm really, really excited um, to release those. And then I ordered um, from my friend Jody, Trixie Tricycle. She's Cedar River Linen and Design. And I ordered 36 count overcast. That's so pretty. And I ordered 18 count arboreal. I love this. It's like a greenish brown. Ooh, I think I have an idea for this one already. I have to, I'm going to leave that set aside. I might have an idea. And then this one is 18 count red cedar. I love this one too. I just needed a couple of her color ones too. Now these two I'm pretty excited about. And I'm going to show you the um, antique first. This I think is an, it's an unfinished uh, antique sampler. But the cool thing about it is, so there's eyelet stitches and then Calvin Baker's names on there. So I don't know if it was, if it was stitched by Calvin Baker or if it was stitched by somebody else. But the cool thing is if you look at the bottom of this, I don't know if it's showing up, but there's pencil marks with the names of all like family members written 
on it and so um it's just, it's so cool there's a rebecca oh my gosh i didn't even notice my name is on here i don't know if you could see it says rebecca spelled my way r-e-b-c-c -C. i did not even notice that till i just showed y'all that is amazing <laughs> so um this is charted and I was talking with my friend Michelle, Mama Loves You GB, a while ago when I received this. And she was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to have a custom fabric uh, made, you know, with this fabric? And I was like, oh, yeah. So I started doing my research. Um, and I ended up at Market, um, Nashville Market, meeting Nick, who's a representative of Fabric Flare. And we got to talking and I was like, I have this piece. I didn't have it with me. Um, we've been communicating via email since. And I was like, do you think that you could, you know, make this happen? The first piece that they sent me um, got lost or stolen. It says it was delivered and it wasn't delivered. Don't know what happened. Um, it may have been stolen from our mailbox because my identity has been stolen. So <laughs> there's that. Um, but what they did is they took the pictures that I sent and they reproduced it. And then the pencils don't, sh the pencil markings don't show up as well on the reproduction, but there, you could see that there is some that show up. I wish my name would have showed up, but Baker's really big down here. So my model stitcher is going to stitch this and then she's going to stitch it on the top, but I'm going to frame the whole fabric or maybe not the whole one, but a good chunk of it because I'm hoping that I think those are the only two pencil things that showed up. There's some towards the top, um, but it was really hard for pictures, but at least there was a couple that, that came through. So I wanted to try to reproduce it as, as well, or, you know, as well as possible. Um, so this is a 36 count. And so that's gonna go to my model stitcher. And so I'm excited for that. And then this fabric's gonna be available through Fabric Flare and then shops can order from them um, on that. And then I also ordered this. It's a little bit lighter than I had envisioned um, for a Christmas piece that I'm gonna send to my model stitcher. I think it'll still work. Um, it's a lighter blue than what I was hoping for for a night sky. Um, but I think it'll work. The colors look okay on it. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with it just because I got to get this out and stitched. So that is all of my fabric. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is the end of my mishmash video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that it didn't kind of flow or have any, you know, rhyme or reason to it. Um, but I was thinking about y'all throughout the time that I've been away. And I tried to record, you know, videos so that I could pop them in. I'm out of breath because I went to get a package that was just delivered. I have a few more things to show you and then I'm gonna sign off. Um, I had some stickers made. They're not the greatest looking because it's from the I'd Pick You um, piece that I did, but I took a picture of the pillow itself so it wasn't completely flat. So um, I may restitch it and get better stickers made. So I had these stickers made from Sierra Custom Stickers and these are gonna go into goodie bags uh, for StitchCon. So I'm pretty excited about that. So had a bunch of those made. Um, my nose is all stuffy. That evergreen fabric that I had talked about for the uh, Bigfoot Hayde piece arrived. So here it is. So I think I am gonna do the Bigfoot piece. I don't know when I'll have the energy to kit it up cause it's like 90 something colors, but um, this is 18 count Ada, of course. And so I'm excited for that. I think the Bigfoot will look really cool on there. This is from um, Fabric Flare. Um, what else? I got, oh, and then I ordered another floss cause I, was, I ran out of rain shower. That was from Stitchery Express, that's what came. Um, I'm not going to take this out of the package, but this is the fabric of the month neutral. I got 20 count grog. I had to cut down my fabric of the month uh, just because, you know, cost wise with not working and just kind of relying on designing 
I had to cut some cloth. So there's that. Um, and then some things from the fat corner shop came. This was a package that I was supposed to show a while ago. Um, so I'm going to show it to you now. And um, Hattie from the Chicken Club. And then more stitch cards. Stitch cards. This is set P, which I really love. I need to stitch these up to put up in here. Um, and set O. And um, this is the Flag Day tum Tumblr template. And so in my next video, I'm going to put together some Fat Quarter Shop giveaways um, so that I can give back to y'all because I really have been scatterbrained in MIA. I think things just got to me. I hit a wall. And the reason I put together this video today despite being sick is Alicia, my sweet, amazing friend, the fanciful flamingo, called me a couple of days ago and I missed her call. And then she texted me and she said, you know, she misses me and she, you know, and I just, I didn't, I didn't text back and I felt like such a bad friend. And then she called me this morning and I picked up and I am so glad that I picked up despite not feeling well because she is just so loving and so amazing and she inspired me to record this even though it's going to be a mess <laughs> and um and speaking with ladies uh, at primrose cottage that interview comes out on mother's day i wanted it to be special it was for y'all and it was truly special to talk to them and um so I'll be doing some giveaways to thank y'all for sticking with me. Um, I appreciate it more than you know. So um, the next one is this welcome pattern. And then Stackables March. So that was in the first package. And then another one just arrived yesterday that has some quilting stuff in it. Oh my nose, excuse me. So it has some um, Sparkle Star and Economy and then some vintage kite, like a whole bunch. Oh, and the next Beatrice, that <laughs> super cute. And then some more, wow, lots of quilting. Um, I'll put together a quilting package um, giveaway with all of these kind of things, but then there's all these different shapes. Snail trail, pines, log cabins, um, sweet laurel, that's really pretty. And then the next uh, stackable April, that's super cute. And then a couple quilt patterns, that one's really pretty. Flower Puddler Quilt. Um, that's really cool. I really like this one, but there's no way that I'll ever make that. But that's beautiful. So there's those. So my next video, I'll be feeling better, hopefully getting back to normal. I will have some really good giveaways. If y'all wouldn't mind sharing my channel, helping me grow, liking, commenting. I've missed you all so, so very much. Um, I think I've been gone for a month and a half. We've gone on a couple adventures. You saw at the beginning that was our um, adventure to Whidbey Island. I was still recovering from the random allergic reaction I had to an ibuprofen. Um, and my face swelled up. If you follow me on social media, you saw. Thank you for all the love, the comments, the advice. I don't know what happened. I'm still red and still, my face is still peeling. Um, and now I'm sick. <laughs> um, so that happened. We also went and stayed at the beach. We like to go to ocean shores. And I posted a TikTok and some photos of that on Instagram. So if you follow me there or Facebook, um, you saw those. That was an amazing trip. We saw lots of eagles and went for a drive. Um, I've been designing. I thank God for my model stitchers because with everything that I have going on, I don't know how I would have been able to release the six releases this time or 
have charts for the online marketplace that's happening at the end of August if it weren't for the help of some amazing model stitchers. So thank you all so very much for the love and the support. And if anybody likes to stitch larger antique reproductions on linen, um, I am almost to the end of charting a larger one and I started model stitching in it and it looks terrible. I, I just can't. I don't know what it is. I've stitched linen before, but I just can't make this look nice. So if anybody's available for a larger model stitch, let me know. Um, anyways, I'm going to go because my throat is hurting and I am sounding miserable. But just want you to know that I love all of you so much. Thank you for following me and checking up on me and making sure I try to stay active on the other social media platforms. Doing a floss tube video is a lot of work, a lot of energy, and I just didn't have it in me, but I could mishmash one together for you. So anyways, until I see you all again, happy stitching, everybody.